Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through something pretty exciting, rooting literally any Android device you can get your hands on. I'm using my Pixel 6, a running Android 16 for this demonstration, and yes, it's already rooted, so I'll be walking you through the same steps I used. By the end of this video, you'll be able to root any device out there. I've divided this tutorial into three main sections to make it easier to follow. First, we'll unlock the bootloader, which is the foundation of the entire process. Then we'll locate and extract the correct boot image from your device's firmware. Finally, we'll patch that image and flash it back to achieve root access. Let's start with bootloader unlocking. The process I'm demonstrating on this Pixel 6a applies to most Android devices, though some manufacturers have their own specific requirements that we'll cover. The first step is enabling developer options on your device. Go to Settings, scroll down to About Phone, and tap the build number seven times. You'll see a notification saying, you are now a developer. This unlocks the developer menu we need. Next, go back to Settings, Open System, then Developer Options, and enable two important settings, OEM unlocking and USB debugging. These are essential for the unlocking process. Now let's set up the computer side. Windows users need to download Android platform tools and install ADB USB drivers. Install the ADB drivers first, then extract the platform tools to any folder you prefer. Open that folder, type CMD in the address bar to launch command prompt, and you'll be ready to run all the necessary ADB and fastboot commands. Mac users can install platform tools using Homebrew with a simple command. I'll include all the download links and commands in the description so you don't have to worry about writing anything down. I'm using Mac for this demonstration, but every command works identically in Windows Command Prompt as well. After installing the tools and drivers, connect your phone to your computer with a USB cable. Open Terminal or Command Prompt and type ADB devices to verify your phone is properly connected and recognized. Once your device appears in the list, reboot it into fastboot mode by typing ADB Reboot Bootloader. Your phone will boot into the bootloader screen. You can see bootloader status is locked. To unlock bootloader, here type fastboot flashing unlock. You'll see a confirmation screen on your phone asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Use the volume keys to select Unlock the Bootloader and press the power button to confirm. After unlocking, your phone will automatically reboot to the main screen. Important warning, this process will completely erase all data on your phone, so make sure you've backed up everything you need beforehand. After unlocking bootloader, your device will boot automatically. Now let's talk about, here's how different manufacturers handle bootloader unlocking. OnePlus devices follow almost the same process as Pixel. Just enable OEM unlocking and use standard fast boot commands. Samsung requires enabling OEM unlock but uses download mode instead of fast boot mode. Xiaomi requires you to request unlock permission from their website and wait for approval, which can take several days. Motorola needs you to get an unlock key from their official website and use it in the fast boot command. If you're using any of these brands and need detailed instructions, I have separate tutorials covering each manufacturer's specific process. Once you've completed the unlock, your phone will reboot and you'll have successfully unlocked your bootloader. That completes the first phase. As you can see, my phone has rebooted and the bootloader is now unlocked. Now we move to the second phase, finding the correct boot image. Boot images are system files that contain the kernel and RAM disk needed to start Android. To root your device, we need to modify these files. You can get the boot image by downloading the firmware package for your specific device model. For my Pixel 6a, I'm using Google's official firmware repository, which has packages for all Pixel devices. Samsung firmware is available through SAMFW, which maintains firmware for all Samsung devices. You can see it has firmware available for devices like my Galaxy S23. Similarly, you can find firmware for Motorola, OnePlus, Nothing, and Xiaomi devices through various repositories. When downloading firmware, choose the fast boot version if it's available, as it's generally easier to work with. I've downloaded the firmware for my Pixel 6a. Firmware packages always come as compressed archives, so you need to extract them first. Usually, you'll find the boot image after extracting the main firmware file. However, 
Pixel devices have the images in a separate zip file inside the main package, so you need to extract that as well. OnePlus does something similar with their payload files. After extracting the firmware, navigate to the images directory. Look for a file called init underscore boot dot img and copy it to your working directory. If there's no init boot file, copy the regular boot.img instead. In my case, with the Pixel 6a, I only have the boot.img file. Transfer this boot image file to your phone, then download and install the Magisk app from the official source. Open Magisk and tap Install. Select Select and Patch a File, navigate to where you saved the boot image, and select it. Magisk will patch this file, creating a modified version that includes root access capabilities. When patching is complete, you'll find the new file in your phone's download folder. Now we need to transfer this patched file back to your computer. I've transferred the file to my PC. While I'm using Mac for this demo, the process is identical on Windows. Here's the Magisk patched file I transferred, and my phone is connected to the computer via USB. Type ADB Reboot Bootloader to boot your phone into fastboot mode again. We need to check if your phone uses single or dual partition slots. Type fastboot get var all to display your phone's information. As you can see, this phone shows A, B partitions, and my slot count is also two, meaning it has dual slots. We need to flash the patched boot image to both slots. On the screen, you can see all the commands needed to flash a patched boot image. For single slot devices, just use the command shown under case one. For newer devices that use init boot, follow the init boot command written on screen. For dual slot A slash B devices, it's best to flash the patched image to both slots. That way you don't have to worry about which slot is active. My device is AB type, so let's flash boot image in it. Type fastboot flashboot underscore A and drag the patched boot image file to the terminal. After that completes, repeat the process for slot B with fastboot flashboot underscore B. Once both slots are flashed, reboot your phone using fastboot reboot. While the phone boots, here's something important to know. Some devices don't support boot image flashing through regular fastboot mode. In those cases, you can use Fastboot D mode instead by typing Fastboot Reboot Fastboot from the Fastboot mode. Your phone will restart and take longer than usual for the first boot while it processes the changes. Once it's fully booted, open the Magisk app and you'll see that everything is properly installed. Your device now has root access. And that's it. Your Android device is now rooted, giving you administrative access to modify system files, install powerful modules, and customize your device in ways that weren't possible before. If this tutorial helped you successfully root your device, please like the video and subscribe for more Android tutorials and tech guides. If you have questions or run into any issues, leave a comment and I'll help you troubleshoot. Thanks for watching and enjoy your newly rooted device.